What's up guys? Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to quickly use multiple booleans at once to cut a bunch of holes in an object. This is especially helpful for cutting a bunch of door and window openings and managing them all at the same time in Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so last week I made a video talking about how to create board and batten siding and then use booleans in order to cut openings in those. But one of the things that I did is whenever you have a set of walls like this one. So what I told you to do last week is when you have a set of walls like this one to take the wall and then add a boolean modifier and then use a series of boxes like these in order to cut openings, right? So we're basically gonna use these boxes, size them to the size of our windows, and then cut openings with them. So we would just use this tool right here with the Boolean. We would select the door in order to cut the opening. Well, the problem with this is you have to come in here and you have to add multiple different Booleans to do this, right? To get everything to show up properly. So I would select this window right here, I would add another Boolean over here. It just turns into a lot of stuff to manage to do things that way. And what we really want is we really want a way where we can actually do this just by adding one single Boolean. And so the cool thing about this is we can do that by instead of linking our Boolean to an object, we can link it to a collection. So what we wanna do is we wanna create a collection in our scene collection. So we can just go to scene collection, right click and click on new collection and we're just going to come in here hit f2 with the selected and name this booleans right here so what we want is we want to take all of these objects right here and we want to move them inside of this booleans collection right so this collection now contains all of our boolean cutters well the cool thing about that is now with this uh, boolean modifier instead of having one that links to one object what we can do instead is we can come in here and we can add a boolean modifier but select the in the drop down the option for collection rather than the option for object what that's going to do is that's going to let us click on this and find this drop down and click on the option for booleans well now what this is going to do is this is going to use any object inside of this collection as a boolean so now let's say that i was to come in here and i was to add another window so i was to do a shift d and duplicate this and move it over notice how the boolean functionality is automatically set up inside of blender now because this boolean when i duplicated it was inside of the booleans folder and so another cool thing about this is if you've ever seen people like parent the Boolean to a window, so let's say I have this window right here. And so what I wanna do is right now, if I move this window around, the Boolean doesn't move along with it. But if I was to select my Boolean first, and then do a shift click and select my window and then do a control P. I can actually parent that Boolean object to my window right here. Well, one of the cool things about this is notice how if we look inside of our window right here with this parented, you can see how this Boolean object is parented to this window. However, it can still live inside of the Boolean's collection right here. So what that means is now that Boolean right here is going to stay inside of the collection, but it's going to be parented to the window. So now no matter where I move this window, that Boolean is still going to move. And if I toggle the window off, you can see how this is still cutting the opening in the wall. So you can have your geometry of your objects outside of this collection because you don't want Blender trying to use your window geometry as the Boolean. You just want this simple Boolean right here cutting the hole in the wall, but you can still have that parented while also having it inside of the Boolean's um, collection right here. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, what you're struggling with, especially with architectural modeling in Blender. I will link to some other architectural modeling tutorials on this page as well. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.